Welcome back to our series on this 1997 Polaris XLT engine rebuild. The weather's starting to turn cold finally here in New England and we're getting ready to get this machine back out on the trails. Um, we've picked up a lot of views and subscribers um, since our last video. So thank you for everyone who's been tuning into this series and uh, we're looking forward to having more content coming your way shortly. We took a little break for the holidays and are very eager to jump back in. Anyway, um, as a disclaimer, one of the things I want to let you know is we lost a little bit of footage at, um, as we worked to reassemble our motor. So in this, in this video you're about to watch, you're going to see us put the pistons on uh, and attempt to get the cylinder head on. Um, and then from there, you know, we're at a point now where actually the engine's back in the snowmobile. Um, so after we get you through this video, we'll continue on with the series when we actually get the, the machine ready for its first start. So. Also stay tuned at the end where you'll see some outtakes from the struggles we had in getting the cylinder head on. So thank you again for everyone who's joined. Please like and subscribe. And as always, we'd love to hear your comments. And thank you for tuning in. Now that we've got the crankcase together, moving on with put, moving forward with putting the top end of the engine together. So I've got three new pistons. Um, there's a lot of information out on the web. Um, about how to do this and there's a lot of content on YouTube as well So I just thought I would just do one and show you so what I've done is I've taken a circ clip and I've inserted it in this side So I've got some assembly lube I'm going to head, go ahead and uh, lube the piston pin Like this I also would do the So this just to be sure. I've already lubed the needle bearings as you can see in here. So we're ready to go. So there is on the top of the piston, there's an arrow and on this snowmobile or this engine, the, the arrow means that it goes, to, that the piston points towards the flywheel side of the motor. So, so with that, I'll get this started. Get it started in the groove. So I just slide the piston over the connecting rod, line it up. Push the piston pin through and it's on. Then the next step is to take the circlip and insult, insert it in here to hold the, the wrist pin in place. So on these you can see they're at half moon or three quarter moon shape, you want to have the opening on the bottom so this doesn't come loose when the engine is running. So to do this, I start it, I start the clip in one side and I take a little screwdriver here, being careful not to mar the piston, and snap it into place. And you hear this click. And that's how you install a piston. Now preparing to put the cylinder head on, and to do that, I'm just I'm in the process of preparing the case. So um, before I put the gasket on, one of the things I'm going to do is I'm going to put the manual says to use some Loctite 515 on the ends of the case, which I've done. The last time we put this together, um, we didn't do this, and we did get some radiator fluid leaking out of the case, which meant that it had to go back to the dealer. Um, and I don't know exactly what they did to fix it, and I just want to avoid that. So um, I've watched a bunch of videos on this and read a bunch of things, and people's advice isn't consistent, but I'm going to go ahead and do this anyway, so we'll you know how it works out. So with that done, we're then going to put the gasket on. And the gasket goes with this, the, the writing on the face up. So I'm just going to slide that over the bolts. Like so. I'm going to go ahead and make sure this gets seated without tearing it or anything, damaging it. So that is now down. I've made this wooden block. And what this does is this fits under the center piston here. And it enables us to tighten the engine down on that. So now the crankshaft isn't going to move. So this should theoretically make it easier 
to get this um, together. A mono, this mono block head is really hard actually to, to get yeah, on here. You can right. see the way when you use the block under the center here, it, it lines the pistons up one, two, three. So the, you'll get the head on the first one, then start on the second, then start on the third. So next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some assembly lube around the, the piston, around the rings, and on the inside of the cylinder, and then we'll come back and we'll go ahead and uh, seat the cylinder. Okay, I've got my little helper here, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, work to put on the cylinder head. So what I need you to do is just help me hold this up. So we're gonna go like this, okay? So can you hold your hold that half? And so the art is what we're gonna do is we're gonna lift up the piston. And we're gonna get it centered. See this there's a groove in here in the rings. No, don't, don't just worry about one at a time. We're going to do the first one first. Okay. My helper and I struggled with this monoblock cylinder head for about 25 minutes. These are a bear to get together. And the reason why is the cylinder head itself is heavy. The pistons and rings are all covered with assembly lube. And as you try to put any pressure on that first cylinder, get into the jug, the, the crank wants to rotate, so it's fighting you. So if I were to do this again, my recommendation would be to take that wooden block that I have underneath the middle cylinder and put it under that first cylinder that I'm working on. And then once you get that first cylinder in, this gets much, much easier. But if you go and you search YouTube or search the web and watch others do this, we all struggle with the same thing. So I can't wait to someday get a triple that has three individual cylinders versus this monoblock head. Thank you everyone for watching and stay tuned for the next segment in our series where we will get the engine in the snowmobile and prepare it for its first run. Until then. This is no fun. So do you see what's happened? So we do see, see these rooms here. There's a pin right there. See that pin inside the piston? Come over. Don't do me that look on your face. Try to help. This thing is a son of a Do you remember this last time? It's like, yeah. This f***ing engine block leaks, I swear to God.